Hi, it's Caitlin, the Cross Stitch Kate. Uh, it's so nice to be back. It is, it has been a very long time <laughs> uh, since my last update. I believe it was uh, early February that I last made a floss tube and now we're coming up on April here. So it's been a good seven weeks since I last gave you a, a stitchy update. Um, there's no real reason for my long absence. Uh, other than the fact that I completely lost my stitchy bug and I have done minimal cross stitching over the past, uh, since I last saw you. Um, I do have a few things to show, obviously. Um, I think it's starting to finally come back. So that's really positive. Um, but yeah, it's been kind of a bummer. I don't know. I just haven't been in the mood. Work has been extremely stressful. Um, usually cross stitching is something that I do to kind of decompress, but gosh, like the month of February, it just, it wasn't in the cards. I would just come home and completely crash. <laughs> um, but yeah, lots of, lots of crazy kind of stressful things happening, um, in my life. I won't bore you with those details, but Spring's coming. I'm hoping to kind of get out of my bunk here and um, just get back to the craft that I really enjoy and that usually brings me a lot of joy. So um, I'll get there. I'll get there. I'm already getting there. Uh, so what better way to um, kind of get some inspiration than to make a new video, interact with this awesome community. All right, let's get into um, just a little bit of housekeeping and then I will show you what I've been working on. Um, so last video, so back in early February, I had a giveaway going on and the giveaway was for Winter Wonderlands um, from Blackbird. Uh, this is one of my whips and actually I will show you my progress on this one um, in just a little bit, but this used to be an out of print chart, but it is now available. Uh, Blackbird Designs uh, released it um, once again. So this is available wherever you get your patterns. Um, so I purchased a new pattern and I want to give it away to one of you. And so the person that has won this is Deanna Tobias. Um, Deanna Tobias 9401. Um, so Deanna, congrats. I will get this in the mail to you. Um, my email is crossstitchkate1 at gmail. It's down below in the box or reach out to me on Instagram. Um, but email's just fine for you to reach out. Um, so give, go ahead and send me your address and I'll get this in the mail to you. Yay. Congrats, Deanna. There's Birdie just being cute. Um, she'll probably get a little nutty here in a little bit. Um, and then my previous video, I had um, announced uh, winners for giveaways of previous, or oh my gosh, I can't talk. In my last video, I announced the winner of a previous giveaway and I never heard from this person. So it's been about two months. So I'm going to go ahead and pick another winner. Um, so the charts that I'm giving away in one little pack, um, these are charts that I finished last year and it is The Gentle Rain from The Blue Flower, as well as Merry Christmas by Blackbird Designs. So I'm giving this away again. So if you want another chance to win these two charts, I will send them to you. Um, so be a subscriber, uh, like the video if you would, and leave me a comment uh, with the word rain for The Gentle Rain. Um, yeah. And then next video, I will pick a new winner and hopefully get these out to somebody. So that is the giveaways. Uh, all right. Next up, I, since, you know, it's spring officially, even though unfortunately in Minneapolis, it does not feel like spring. It's been snowing for the past 72 hours. I've been shoveling nonstop. Um, it's been super annoying. So we got zero um, snowstorms this whole winter. I think I shoveled twice. Um, once was Halloween. And then once I think there was a time in January where I had to shovel like an inch. And then on Sunday, um, we have gotten about, I think there it's like 12 inches just over the past three days. It's super heavy snow and I've just been 
I've been having to shovel and it's miserable outside and it ruined my plans this week. So I'm mad at snow and that's that. It's spring, come on snow. Like you didn't show up all winter and now you're here, like get lost. Um, so I'm really hopeful that spring will come very, very soon. I hope this is the last little blast of winter and then we can get on with all the spring stuff. I'm manifesting with my uh, floral uh, YouTube background. And then I just thought that I would show you some of my favorite past spring finishes to start the video off. So here is one. This is Blackberry House. Oh, I just love it. So obviously it's not fully finished, but I believe I finished this last spring. Um, this is a big finish for me. I had been working on this for a good three years. But look at the little Blackberry House and the over one weather vane. That was kind of a pain. Um, but yeah, this is by Plum Street, I believe. And it is called Blackberry House. I did modify the pattern a little bit. There is um, an alphabet on the original pattern down here. Um, and I just decided I didn't want the alphabet. And I love how this turned out. The, um, the urn with those variegated blue threads are so pretty. And all the stars. And I love this little brick birdhouse. And the colors are just perfection. So... I love Blackberry House. I believe I saw um, is uh, Sarah, Sarah W? Yeah, Sarah W. I think that's your YouTube name. I will put it down below if I'm wrong, but I see that you are working on this too and it's such a fun stitch, so I hope you're enjoying it. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of people have been working on this or have stitched this one. It's a popular pattern. So that's Blackberry House. I gotta get this framed. I'm actually hoping um, if the snow wouldn't have happened and I would have been able to drive places, I would have gone to a framer actually this week. But alas, I'll have to do it a different week. Um, I'm on spring break this week, so that's why I'm like so chipper and it's in the middle of the week and I'm able to film. <laughs> um, today is Tuesday. Uh, the uh, 26 of March. So I found my second day of spring break and it is awesome. Awesome, awesome. <clears throat> and then I thought I would show my other very springy stitch. Um, I'm going to show you the gentle rain from the blue flower, which I finished last, was this like last summer-ish, I think. Sorry, I'm just gonna straighten this out a little bit. But there's a gentle rain. Isn't it beautiful? The fabric is not showing up super great. It's more like of a pinky mauve color. Um, yeah, it's kind of washed out right now. But I changed the dog to match my birdie girl. And otherwise, I believe this chart is as called for. But isn't it beautiful? or how sweet the music of the rain is what it says it's just a beautiful spring scene so there's another past spring finish and then lastly my one FFO um, for spring I have this hanging up on my wall but this is things of spring by posy designs and it's so cute all those little spring motifs uh, I did change. There used to be a cat here, but I made it birdie. And I love the little sweater, the umbrella. It's all just fabulous. So this hangs right next to my door over here. It's so pretty. So I'm just manifesting spring all over the place. So come on spring. Okay, next I'm going to show you. Uh, I do have a finish to show you actually that I have been working on pretty much monogamously. So I only have four whips to show you, well, three whips in this finish. Um, and then my whips, unfortunately, I have like super minimal progress. <laughs> I only worked on each whip, I think for one to two days. Um, but this finish I actually worked on for, I think like 11 days total, maybe nine, I don't know. But it is Gilmoreisms from Forbidden Fiber Co. I'm actually gonna show you a picture of the pattern because I did make some changes. 
Um, but this is from Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, designed by Leanne. Beautiful design. It's just really fun. Um, I'm really like in a Gilmore Girls mood right now. <laughs> I got my Black Needle Society Gilmore Girls box. Um, that retreat is coming up this week. And I've been watching it. Like I've just been, it's just like my comfort show. And it's just like such a lovely little fairy world <laughs> that I feel like I've just needed that lately. So this has been fun to work on, but I'll show you my finish. Oh, I love it. It's, this is a big piece. Um, I'm going to actually give you the stitch count. Um, sorry, I'm just going to grab it here. Okay, so Gilmoreisms, Forbidden Fiber Co. So I started this on uh, December 30th of 2023. Uh, so it's taken me about three months to finish. Um, this is 183 wide by 244 tall. So this is a pretty big piece. Um, and it took a long time. I mean, you know, each square doesn't have a ton of stitching in it, obviously, but like the outline took a long time to do. There was a lot of counting. Um, so this did take like a good amount of time for me. I don't know like which way to look right now, but um, I will tell you the three, I think there were three squares that I just completely changed. Um, so the first one was right here. And it originally said um, Williams Hardware in reference to Luke's dad's hardware store. Um, and I will tell you, so one, two, three are the squares that I changed, but I use all Forbidden Fiber Co. patterns. And I'll go ahead and show you the pattern that I took things from. So I have this uh, PDF pattern that I got a few years ago and it's so cute. It's, um, but I've never stitched it before. I don't really have plans to stitch it. So I just thought I would incorporate some of the designs um, into one big kind of like uh, mashup of Forbidden Fiber Co. patterns. So the I Smell Snow, I just took the snowflakes from that pattern and then I just made up my alphabet here um, with inspiration from letters already in this chart. And then this one says an Omnia Paratus with the umbrellas. Um, and I just made a mirror image. Um, there's just one umbrella charted. So I just made a mirror image and charted two. And then the oi with the poodles already. I just, I love this. I, that's my favorite square because I love little poodles. Um, so yeah, I just got kind of creative with this one. But then all of the rest are Leanne's original designs in the form they were meant to be. So I will just kind of pan. Um, the Love Rocket is probably my favorite. I think this said um, United States, but I changed it to Love Rocket because that's what I think this Lorelei called it that. I don't know. Um, and then the Scorpio. Um, I will tell you another reason why I made the changes. Rory's going to Yale. Um, is because there's so much backstitching um, letters in this chart. And I just really do not enjoy doing that. And this square especially had like five rows of backstitched little letters. And I was like, I just can't do it. I can't do it. Um, so this one was in reference to the puffs. And then this one, I'm not remembering right now. But um, so yeah, I will always love you. Rory's going to Yale, um, double, double egg, Jess's car. Uh, the deer hit me and then uh, he's sleeping with the zucchinis. So cute. So Leanne has said that she wanted this to be kind of like obscure references. And so obviously the three that I chose are not obscure. They're like, I feel like everyone who knows a little bit about Gilmore Girls probably knows these three things. Well, everything else is a little obscure. So I kind of like the mix. But anyway, that's my finish. It is on a 36 count um, color and cotton Granny Smith. Um, this was from the July 2022 Fabric Club. And then I bought the thread pack from Forbidden Fiber Co. And so I got all the colors to do this. And I love how it turned out. This piece is really big, like I've said. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Um, I actually think this would be a really cute tote bag. I though don't know how to do that because <laughs> I don't really sew. Um, 
but it's like the perfect size to be like a sweet little tote bag. Um, so if I can figure that out, or if anyone in the Minneapolis um, Twin Cities area knows of a finisher that could maybe do this and I could pay them, <laughs> uh, let me know if you have anyone, because how cute would that be? And this green fabric, um, it's a little more vibrant in person. Green is always hard to film and photograph. Oh my gosh, I took like 20 pictures of this and it was turning out like gray and it was super annoying. Um, but it's a really kind of fun, it looks just like a green Smith apple. So that's that. Birdie's got a ball. She's just, oh, she's just like a little show dog. Birdie, what are you doing? Are you being so nice? Oh, and we've got an ad there on the TV. I'm so sorry. My spring flower scene, I guess, uh, does not go without ads. So there it is. There's my one finish. I'm very proud of it. It feels great to have it done. I can get it off my whip list. Um, and yeah, that is Gilmerisms. Okay, let's get into whips. So like I said, I've only got three with not a ton of progress, but I'm going to show you regardless. Um, so my first one is Winter Wonderland from Blackbird. Uh, this was a start back in November for me. I started this with Abby Bella Stitch um, for our birthdays. I believe she has a November, I think she has a November birthday. Yeah, that's how we started it together. <laughs> um, so Winter Wonderland, and I still have it in a Q-snap. And here, here I'm gonna put my little board behind it so you don't get any light. Um, but there's what I have. So this is on, let me get you the stats. Winter Wonderland. Okay, this is on a 40 count boardwalk from Color and Cotton and I am using the call for, or the, the DMC. There is a DMC conversion. Um, so the last time that you saw this, I think you just saw the outline. And what I have done is I've added these crows on the top. So they're really cute. This is not a huge pattern. I'll just give you another look. Um, so I just kind of have all the animals, the border, and then filling in the house to do. And I actually think that if I just spent some dedicated time, I could get that done. Um, but it's not winter anymore and I'm manifesting spring. So do I really want to work on this? Probably not. Um, <laughs> so I'll probably put this away. Uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try to do the roof. The roof has like these little quilt square things. Maybe before I put it away, I'll do the roof. That would feel good. And then I can get started on the animals next time I work on it. Probably in the fall or winter. So that's Winter Wonderland. And then uh, my second whip that I worked on for one day, for about one hour. <laughs> I'm gonna work on this and I'm gonna finish this in the next couple days. Um, this is a little small that I started for my New Year's 12 by 12. It is from Heart and Hand. It is the Cuckoo Bird Sampler. It's so cute. And it's just a monochromatic little small. Um, let's see how big this is. It's tiny. It's 85 by 95. It's really, really cute. Um, so for the Cuckoo Sampler, I am doing this on... Um, and Ada, this is my only Ada project that I have. Um, I got a 20 count cold foam from Bestitch Me, um, just because I wanted to try an Ada. Sorry, it's still in the Q-snap, but it's beautiful, really um, fun modeled fabric, kind of like a, well, it looks like a cold foam. <laughs> looks like a coffee drink, doesn't it? Um, but here's what I have. I just have a few letters. Um, so this will be a really sweet little pillow, uh, and it's fun to stitch on Ada. Just, I just don't do it very often. So it's fun. It's easy. Um, the thread that I am using is a color and cotton marsh. So just a really pretty brown, and I think it's going to look beautiful on this fabric. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm planning, like after I am put everything away and I'm done filming and editing, I'm planning to just stitch this until it's done because I want to get another finish. And this is little, so yeah. EFG, N and U. I think I sold out fun and then added the E and the G. I don't know. Um, I took this on a girls weekend that I went on in February with my college girlfriends. 
And as I thought, I did not stitch. I think I did it for just, like I said, an hour um, one morning while we were all drinking coffee and getting ready for our day. So that was very fun. Uh, we realized that me and my college friends have been going to um, one of our friends' parents has a cabin in Northern Wisconsin and we have, this was our 20th year going <laughs> on these trips. Uh, we met obviously freshman year in college and the fall of freshman year, we took a long weekends and every single year since freshman year, the same group of girls, kind of core group of girls have been going. We've added some new friends along the way, but um, I believe there are four of us that, has, that have gone. I think, well, I've gone every year. I think two of us has, have gone every single year and then hit or miss for the other girls, but just kind of cool. Makes me feel a little elderly, but um, mostly just makes me feel really grateful that I have these like lifelong friends that knew me back when I was 18. It's really cool. So, so yeah, that makes sense. I'm 38 now, 20 years, goes by quick. Um, okay, my last whip uh, was Consider the Lilies. And do I have, yeah, I do have the pattern. So this is Consider the Lilies from Heartstring Samplery. It is so beautiful. It is so big. <laughs> 435 by 363. It's a big monster. And I believe last uh, last video, I had told you all about my grand plans to make this my Sunday stitch. And I was going to do... Why? I'm so sorry about the backgrounds. All right. Sorry for the abrupt stop. I'm sorry about the TV. I have this like beautiful spring flower scene. And every time I look over, there's an ad. So if the TV has just been on while I've been talking, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to have a calming flower scene. Um, nothing's working the way I intended it to, but it's, it's fine. You're just gonna, you know, it's just gonna be black. Birdie is just looking cute right there. And here, I'll move over to cover the TV a little bit, cause that's annoying. <sighs> okay, like I said, heartstring samplery, uh, consider the lilies. And I believe before I got cut off, I was talking about how in my last video, I had made a plan that this is going to be my Sunday stitch. And my plan was going to be to work on uh, a flower and a motif. And so I did that for one Sunday. <laughs> Uh, and then I left my, my stitchy bug. I really want to continue and get back to this. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Oh, it is so pretty. So I did put in a flower as well as, I think I put in four motifs. I was on a roll. Um, but I did this all in a day. I uh, filled in this flower and I brought the vine over. And then I did the three little mini trees and this beehive isn't it pretty oh my goodness this is on a 40 count ballet slipper from fox and rabbit it's showing up pretty nice it's like a creamy pink color i'm using all of the called for colors which are so beautiful there's so many of them um oh look at them all so it's a mixture of classic color works, the gentle arts, and weeks. Um, I can't wait to get to this one. This looks stunning. Look at this blue. Um, this is called Cadet by Weeks. It's so pretty, but they're all beautiful. They all look so shiny, probably because most of them have never been used yet. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is my half yard of fabric all folded up, but yeah, there's my progress. It's beautiful. I, even though I worked on this just for one day, I enjoyed every single stitch and hopefully next floss tube, I will have a few more flowers and a few more motifs to show you and I will stick to my plan. So those are all of my whips. Yay. Um, that feels good to show you. Uh, I realize that there are not very many and I also know that things ebb and flow and who knows next floss tube 
maybe I'll have like 10 whips to show you and I'll just have made so much progress. Um, I guess it's the beauty of this hobby. It's always there and it's always ready for us whenever we want to come back to it. So those are my, those are my uh, things that I've worked on over the past seven weeks. Plans. Um, so I'm not making a ton of plans because I made so many plans um, earlier in the year and they just haven't been panning out for me, which is fine. But I will tell you about three projects that I'm very much hoping to pull out over the next uh, month, especially. So my first one is uh, Winter in Stars Hollow. I'm going to show you a picture right here. This is the new release um, from Black Beetle Society. Uh, they are doing, uh, if you watch my last floss tube extra, you saw that I opened up my little stitchy box and showed you the pattern. Um, and like I said, there is an, a virtual retreat that happens and that is happening this week. And I will probably just attend a little bit, but I will just show you here. Sorry, it's not irons. But here is my progress. I have a fully finish of fall and summer. And then spring goes on this side. So I have very minimal progress on spring. And then winter will, will go over here. So I'm hoping to start winter at least. And yeah, it's such a pretty um, design. And I really wanted to have spring done by the time the retreat started because, you know, I've done that with the other three, um, or I'm sorry, the other two. I had them finished before the next one, but alas, it didn't work out in my favor. <laughs> I didn't put the time and effort into it. So that's all right. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start the winter one. And then hopefully I will do the spring one this season sometime because I would love to have this done. So I'm going to plan to do that. And then um, Jesse from Jesse Marie Does Stuff called the April Whip Go. I'm not going to bother even showing you what my March Whip Goes were because I did not do one stitch on either of them. Um, but I'm going to get back into it. You know what? Maybe, um, maybe there'll be a time where I'll just try to rotate all of my past whip go calls into um, into my whips at some point. Um, but I had, um, obviously there were two whip go calls for March. The first one that got called for me was uh, the Cranberry House from the Peppermint Lane series by Pansy Patch. Quilts and Stitchery, again, another wintry piece. Um, look at the house though. The colors in this one are so pretty. And this was my birth, uh, one of my birthday starts last year. And I really wanted to make some good progress on this this year. So this is good that I got called. Um, I'm doing this on a 40 count uh, vintage country mocha. And this is all I have done. But it's really, really pretty. Sorry, there's a snow blower outside. Hmm. I wish he would come do my sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> it's my neighbor. He's nice. He's done it a few times. Maybe he'll do it. Um, anyway, I have a little bit of the roof done. So it would be great. Maybe if I could like outline the house at least. Um, I'm doing all, I think there's either nine or 12. I think there's 12 of these. Nope. <laughs> there's nine. Oh my gosh. So this will be a square, like three, three, and three. I'm doing it all in one piece. So it'll be big and this is the first one that I am working on. So I gotta get going if I'm ever gonna finish it. So that is my little cranberry house and look at the threads. They're so pretty. They're all weak style works, just beautiful pinks. And then the next whip go call that got um, chosen, I'm so happy that it got picked. Um, this is my Moon Bell Pull by, oh, I can't remember. It's a PDF. I don't have the chart in front of me. I think it's Tiny Modernist. I'm almost positive. Um, and here is what I have. This is not ironed, obviously. I just have a little start and this is a stitch that I am stitching for my new baby nephew that was born last July. 
my plan was to have this done for his first birthday. So I think he's having a birthday party at the end of July this month or this year, obviously for his first birthday. He's so cute. I can't wait to go, but I would really love to be able to give this to him and my brother and sister-in-law. Um, so this is great. This got a uh, call this month because I would really like to put some work into it. Uh, now I believe in my whip parade, I went over how I am not loving the fabric. I chose um, a 20 count black Ada. I love how small it is, but I just, it's so stiff. I feel like you can really see the Ada holes in this. And I just, I don't know how I'm gonna get these creases out. I got like white marks all over for my key snap. I just don't know that if this is, I don't have tons done obviously. So I think that I might restart it. And so I did get some fabric um, from Fiber on a Whim. And it's this really beautiful uh, midnight blue. It is called Night Sky, which is perfect. So it's like a, you know, a blue gray. And I think that this pattern would look really pretty. Someone commented when I talked about changing this, um, they said, trust, trust what you have. Um, cause this is the called for fabric. And they just said like, she chose this fabric for a reason. Um, because it, you know, it's like this black gray and then the black, there's a big black section down below, um, with like pine trees and it looks really cool. It looks really cool in the picture. Um, and I guess I, my only worry with using this is like, is the black going to show up? with as much contrast as it does on this um and i don't know i guess i don't know until i try so i've got some decisions to make if you would like to weigh in <laughs> tell me if you think i should just trust the process and like try to seam out these creases and go with the ada even though i'm not really enjoying it and i don't think it looks that great or if I should switch on over to this 40 count fiber on a whim and see what it looks like. It does look the very, I mean, not the variegation, the modeling is so beautiful on this fabric. Um, it really does look like the sky. So I guess I'm leaning towards this, but let me know what you think I should do. That'd be helpful. <laughs> Cause I really, I gotta get to this. I gotta get it done in the next couple of months. So I have time to frame it and everything for our little, my little nephew. So those are my plans, that's all. I'm just doing my whip go and then um, my Gilmore Girls retreat. So whatever comes beyond that is what will be. Strike that, one more plan. Oh, this dog, she kills me, she's so cute. Um, I have not started anything new since my New Year's new start on well, I technically started out on the 31st of December. So I have not started anything new this year, which is insane. Um, I believe that at this point last year, I had like 10 new starts by, you know, the first third of the year, um, but not this time. So I am kind of jonesing for a new start. Um, as I've been talking about spring, I think I just want to start like something new and fresh. Um, so I went through my stash and I pulled out several patterns that I'm kind of thinking about starting, uh, maybe this weekend, maybe it'll be like a spring break start, um, for me. So I just thought I would show you and if anyone has strong opinions on what I should start or just like really enjoys what, um, I'm showing or if you have this chart and want to stitch along with me, um, just put it in the comment and I will, I'll read those and figure out what I want to start. So um, the first thing that I have is the spring uh, chicken pin keep from Stacy Nash Primitives. And I think that is precious. I love the little baby chicks. And there's like eggs everywhere. It's so cute. Um, so this is an option. Uh, and then I have a blue flower. I don't think I have any blue, well I do have a whip. Um, but 
it's not calling to me right now, but this one is <laughs> the language of flowers spring. So it says the sun shines when I'm with you. And it's very pretty like little daffodils and daisies. Um, it's adorable. So that's an option. I like this one because it's not, well, it's kind of big, I guess. It's bigger than I thought it was. It's 165 by 82. Um, oh gosh, I'm not so much really willing to start this, but I forgot that I had it and I just wanted to show you. This is a Carolyn Manning and I know that Manning May is coming up here in a few months. Um, and this is, uh, the flower a day stitch along. So I believe this was a stitch along, I don't know the year, <sighs> several years ago, 2017. So, but I bought the whole pattern because I think it's really, really cool. And so I believe that there are, um, are there 365 flowers? I guess I should have done some reading, but it's really kind of fun. You're just supposed to kind of use like leftover threads because obviously there's tons of colors in this. I mean, she does give you a thread list, but it's like a little obscene how many threads there are. Um, <laughs> Like it's, like it's crazy, but this is an option. Ugh, is it an option though? It's so big. I don't need another huge project. So, but that's fun. If anyone is looking for a Manning May uh, pattern, this is an older one, but it's so pretty. Um, and then in seeing all of the uh, Nashville needle, needlework patterns um, and designers, I came across my Kathy Barrick uh, stash and I have Daniel here who is so cute. And I think this would be a really lovely spring start because ugh, gosh, the colors in this bird, they're really cool. And like, look at all the flowers on this little hill rock thing. That's a cool one. I have a couple of these Kathy Barrick birds. They're so fun, but Daniel's super cute. Um, I've got another blue flower. I've got strawberry bird, which is beautiful. Uh, oh, I have some of the threads already kitted up. I have three. Oh, I have all of the fancy floss. And then there's just DMC. So that would be a great start. I love the fabric on this. Oh my gosh. Uh, the model is stitched on fennel seed from Color and Cotton. I'm sure that is not available anymore, but that's beautiful. Kind of like a golden yellow. Love that. Um, I don't know why I pulled, I just wanted to look at it. Spring at Hawk Run. This is not something that I see very often, um, but for sure I'm starting this after my autumn at Hawk Run is done in seven years. Um, but I think this is so beautiful. I love every square. The colors are so bright and vibrant. So, hmm. yeah, I love everyone. There's, um, in Autumn at Huckerin Hollow, there are some Halloween squares that I took out, so it'll be shorter, but this one I'm gonna do all of them because I love every single one. So pretty. And then the last one I pulled out is this Luminous Fiber Art, it's a little bunny. Um, it's a, the Friendship Series BFF Bunnies. How cute is that? So this would be not huge, 64 by 121. It's just a little pillow. I could easily pull from stash for this. So that is the last one I pulled. So does anyone have any strong opinions about which one I should start? <laughs> or should I just work on my whips? I'm sure I have spring whips. I just need to go through them all, but that was fun though. Oh, thanks for indulging me. I love going through my stash. It's like going shopping because I have so much. Um, I'm going to show you a few more things because I have some haul. I have haul and stitchy kindness and get ready. Buckle up for the stitchy kindness because I am still in awe, but I'm going to go through my market um, haul and then I will show you, I bought some project bags and then I'll show you my, my gift that I got in the mail. Oh my gosh. Okay, market. 
So even though I haven't been stitching, I did go shopping. <laughs> and I bought six patterns from Market and I love them all. The first one is the Pollinator's Garden from October House Fiber Arts. Look at that long skinny pillow. I believe that Bridgen is already finished with this. That's amazing, Bridgen. I mean, it's tiny. It's 33 by 261. I mean, it's long. 261 is not, you know, a small number, but it's only 33 stitches high because it's so cute. So this is fun because you could, if you didn't want like a long skinny pillow, you could totally like stack flowers. Um, you could just like maybe break it up in half or into thirds and change the layout. It's really pretty. Um, this would also be a, a great spring stitch. Maybe I'll start that one. Who knows? Um, and then from JBW Designs, I purchased When Cardinals Appear. And it says, when cardinals appear, loved ones are near. Makes me think of my grandma. So pretty. I love cardinals. I have two, I have a cardinal couple that come and greet me every morning and sit in my tree. It's like a red female, or sorry, a red male and a beautiful like brown female. And they just hang out in the tree for a little bit. They're so sweet till they come almost every single day. So that makes me feel happy. Um, I bought the Heartstring Samplery Scenic Sampler, which I'm very excited about. Isn't that beautiful? It's big though. 247 by 215. Very dense stitching, obviously. It's like full coverage down here. Huge border, but I love that one. Um, and then this one I'm really excited about. Um, this is from Annie B's Folk Arts, which is a new designer to me. I've heard of Annie B's, but I've never, I don't think I have anything by her. Um, but I got Down in the Valley with this awesome pink house. It's just a really sweet little sampler. It's 150 by 155 and I love it. So, oh, that is so pretty. So pretty. I really want to start this. Hmm. Uh, the next one I got is just so adorable. Um, it's by Rebel Stitcher. Let's root for each other. It's all the roots. It is precious. It would not take very long to stitch. This would be a fun weekend project. Love that one. How cute is that? I haven't seen this one very much on people's floss tables, but I just thought I could not pass that up. And then the last one that I got is from Counting Puddles, another new designer to me. And I got the uh, Botanical Wedding Sampler. How gorgeous is that? My sister is getting married in October and these flowers actually, I feel like are kind of in tune with what she is having. Um, she's having an, a fall wedding. He's, this looks very fall to me. I'll have to, I'm seeing her this weekend. I don't know if I wanna make this a surprise or if I wanna tell her about it in case she hates it and won't put it up in her house. <laughs> um, Cause it's a lot of stitching. This is a lot, a lot. It is 163 by 161. So it's not like huge, but it's so dense. Like look at, especially the bottom here. Lots of, is there back stitching in this? Ugh, I hate back stitching you guys. Not a ton, but there is some. Are there people that like to back stitch? I just, I kind of despise it. That's a strong statement, but it's true. I do not like backstitching. So that's my market haul. There were so many patterns that I wish I could have purchased, but I tried to be like not completely insane. I have so many things. I just, even six patterns was probably too much, but sometimes you just want what you want, right? Um, okay, and then I bought three project bags over the past two months, um, which I'm really excited about. 
This one is pretty awesome. This is from Como Stitches. Um, and it's these really cute salt box houses with a very pretty um, matching coordinating um, floral fabric on top. But look at all the houses. Aren't they pretty? So I'm very excited about this one. And then I got two gorgeous floral patterns from Colleen over at Patchwork Crossing. Um, but look at this gorgeous uh, red and green floral. Oh, and they're so big. I love Colleen's bags. I've said it a million times. This one is gorgeous. Let's see what the inside fabric is. Just a neutral white grayish. And then this one is pretty special. It is like tropical colors on navy. I love it. Look at the back. And these like mason jars filled with very pretty bright flowers so and the inside is really fun too so thanks Colleen love 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 when I can purchase your bags as you know okay that's my haul and now I'm going to show you my stitchy kindness and get ready okay so my stitchy kindness is from my new friend Nicole who is Lady Lucadia, I think that's how you say it, over on Instagram. I'll put her handle down below. Nicole is the person that won the giveaway for Dollhouse. And it took me forever to get it to her. She was so patient. It took me like five weeks. Like it was crazy. I just never made it to the post office. Finally got to her and Nicole lives in Hawaii. So it probably took a long time to get to her. Um, so it was great. I, she let me know that she got it and I was so happy that it, you know, someone had found their unicorn chart because she had wanted to per or not purchase it. She wanted to enter the giveaway and she won. Yay. So many people enter that giveaway, by the way, because that is a coveted chart, right? So I was just like, yay, you got it. Okay, great. Kind of forgot about everything. And then yesterday, this large package shows up at my door and it's from Hawaii. <laughs> and I was like, um, what did she do? So Nicole sent me the most, like, like I started crying when I opened up this package because it was so kind and thoughtful. Um, she sent me this adorable card. Uh, it says, thanks, that was magical really really sweet card with a beautiful note inside and then she sent me a care package from with Hawaiian things and let me just go through it and then she stitched me something you guys I I'm overwhelmed um so this was on the card it is a little needle minder and it says aloha sorry my huge fingers are so aloha with a really sweet little sea turtle she sent me Hawaiian Island Company tea. Uh, this is guava ginseng. Amazing. She sent me Kona Coffee Hawaiian shortbread. I just, I'm, I was so overwhelmed when I opened this. It just kept going. Like, it was amazing. She sent me some beautiful coffee from Hawaii, which I am so excited. I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but I'm just going to, it's, I, yeah. Oh, it tells me the pronunciation on the back. Hualali, Hualali coffee. Amazing. And then she sent me uh, this uh, shea cream, like a pineapple um, scented shea hand cream. And it smells amazing. And then she sent me these sweet little Aloha post-its. And then there was something in bubble wrap and I opened it up and I gasped. Look at this. Okay, so this is a little mason jar. It's just like a little button jar almost. And look at how beautifully she has stitched this gorgeous little bird in it with a C on it for Caitlin. 
and she, there's satin stitches on this. It is beautiful. And it is finished with like this chenille trim. And then she put this like very pretty um, like tape measure finishing fabric on it. And then on the inside, she wrote, so this is called the Red Robin Pin Keep. And it is, the pattern is by Blue Ribbon Designs. And it just says, a gift of thanks for Caitlin, stitched by Nicole. It is precious. And I will treasure this, Nicole. So I, I've already thanked you via email, but thank you so much. I This brought me like such joy and warm feelings. And just look at this. It's stunning. It's perfectly finished and I will treasure it. So thank you so much. I was completely overwhelmed by your kindness. <laughs> Again, if you want to give away from me, this is not necessary, but oh my goodness, it just made me like believe in the kindness of strangers. <laughs> so anyway, thank you, Nicole. I really, I truly appreciate it. And thank you for letting me show everyone. I did ask her if I could show, but just let's take one more look. Finished cross stitch, man. There's something to it. I <laughs> stitch all of these things and I never finish anything. And this is pretty amazing. So Nicole, you've inspired me. I think I need to do some finishing in the near future and get, you know, what I stitch like to a place where I can proudly display it like this. So I will treasure that. Thank you. All right. Um, I will just wrap this up quickly. I've been talking for about an hour already. Um, so what have I been watching? I just recently started watching FlossTube again. So I have a huge long list of videos that are in my queue. Um, but two of the people that I made sure to catch up with, um, Sarah from uh, Sarah's Stitchy Spot, she's just such a positive person to watch. Um, and she finishes and stitches such beautiful, beautiful patterns. Um, so I always enjoy catching up with Sarah. Um, so thanks, Sarah, for making your lovely videos. They bring a lot of joy to a lot of people. Um, and then Jordan, the tattoo stitcher, I have been catching up with. I watched her last several videos and again, she's a light as well. She's so fun. Um, I feel like we're stitching some of the same things. Uh, oh, there was one pattern and I'm going to totally forget it now. Oh, I can't remember. She was showing something and it's either a whip or something I really want to start. Anyway, go watch Jordan's late, latest video. She's so much fun to watch. Um, and then I have a long list of my other floss tube favorites uh, that I need to get back to because I, I haven't been watching a lot of floss tube until like the last weekend. So I will catch up with everybody. And um, there's been a, a, several people that have mentioned me in their videos. Thank you so much. Anyone who ever mentions me, I just, I appreciate it. And it's really fun to see that little notification that someone talked about you in, your, in their video. So that's that. Um, what am I watching that is not cross stitch related? I started doing a rewatch of This Is Us. Oh, that show is so good. It's so emotional though. So if you just wanna cry every episode, I don't, I don't know if there's an episode that I don't tear up at least or just like sob. At. I'm on the last season, which I think is one of the saddest seasons, <laughs> obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm on the last season of that, and I'll probably finish that here in a couple days. But that's been really fun. Um, and then this past weekend, I randomly watched the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I heard there was a podcast and somebody mentioned that they had never seen it and they were going to watch it. And I haven't seen those movies since they came out like in theaters. And I don't really remember enjoying them very much, but I decided that I should give it another try. And I didn't really, I'm sorry. I know there's people that like love Lord of the Rings. I don't like battle scenes in movies and TV shows. Like I always fast forward through them. <laughs> And Lord of the Rings has a lot of battle scenes. So I, you know, I stitched during that. I did my Gilmoreisms and I got a lot of progress done. So um, 
there were there's very sweet moments in those movies uh but yeah not for me although i spent nine hours watching it so <laughs> those movies are long I'm telling you um you're like i know caitlin lord of the rings has been out for 20 years <laughs> um but yeah that's what i did and then I haven't really been reading. I've just been kind of, you know, besides those shows, I've, I have my own standbys. I've got friends. I've got The Office that I'll throw on every once in a while. Um, otherwise, I've been listening to a lot of music. Um, the new Casey Musgraves album just came out, and I'm obsessed with it. I think it's, it's one of those albums that, like, I just, you, it's so good. I'm not um, a country music person um, at all, but I have always liked Casey Musgraves and this new one, it like speaks to my soul. So I've been pretty much listening to that nonstop. I've been listening to Noah Kahn a lot, um, Taylor Swift, Brandi Carlisle, Gregory Allen Isikoff. Those are a few of my current favorites. And like I said, I haven't really been reading, but I am going to be joining Katie the Novel Stitcher. Um, she is starting a stitchy book club, so I'm very excited about that. I believe that the book that was chosen was A Single Thread by Tracy, is it like Cavalier, Chevalier? I'll put it right here. Um, I remember I have read one of her books like in college. I think it was called Girl with a Pearl Earring and I really liked it. So I am excited to catch up with that author again. Um, I believe that Katie, go watch Katie's uh, video about the book club. She has a dedicated video and then she talked about it again in her last floss tube that she just released. Um, so go check that out if you are interested. She's going to do two months of reading um, and then she's gonna schedule a couple of Zooms where people can get together and talk about the book and stitch. Um, and she's just encouraging people, you, there's not like a set pattern to stitch while you read this book. Um, but she did choose a really pretty new market release. Um, and she's just encouraging people to kind of like stitch the theme. So the book is, um, a single thread. So she was talking about maybe doing like a monochromatic piece or something with friendship. Um, or like sewing or thread related. Anyway, I didn't describe that very well. Katie describes it great, go watch her. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to participate in that and get back to reading because it's been crazy. Um, so yeah, it's the last week in March, Easter's on Sunday. Um, I don't really celebrate Easter. It's not a big holiday for my family, but my mom and my sister are coming up um, in a few days and we're doing like a fun girls weekend here in Minneapolis and that'll be really fun. I haven't seen them since Christmas. So we are just gonna, we're going to high tea, which will be very fun. Uh, we're gonna go visit my cousin who works at a, one of the breweries here in Minneapolis. Actually, I think his brewery is in St. Paul, um, but we're meeting some of my other cousins and my aunt and uncle which will be really fun. Everyone's just in town randomly on the same weekend. Um, I have two cousins that live in the cities, but you know, my aunts and uncles are all in the Madison area. So um, it'll be fun. It'll be like a little mini family reunion. And then I think my mom and my sister and I are gonna watch the Eras tour and we're gonna make Eras related cocktails for that. We'll just snuggle with Birdie, go out to dinner, I think we're gonna go to the Minneapolis Institute of Art one morning for a little bit of culture, because <laughs> usually we just eat and drink and listen to music. And I thought that we needed to do something that will enrich our minds. <laughs> so we'll see if that ends up happening, but I'm excited about it. So it'll be very fun to have some family in town. Otherwise, for the next few days, I'm just going to hopefully cross stitch, do some spring cleaning, and hopefully I will just have to shovel one more time and then it will be officially spring season here in Minneapolis. So that's my, up my update. Thank you so much for sticking around if you have stuck around this long. I know this is a longer video. Um, I very much hope to be back 
um, around the end of April. I hope it won't be too much, too long until my next um, update. And I'm, I'm catching all the stitchy energy right now. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe. Um, if you want uh, to know when I post my future videos. Um, and yeah, happy stitching. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone. Hey bird. Honey, you already had your peanut butter pong. You can't have any more. If you get too much peanut butter, then you get sick. I'm sorry you can't have any. Sorry, bird. What a good girl you are. I know you just want your peanut butter. <laughs>